and having just lived through a nightmare. This month's tornado victims are hoping this next round of storms doesn't affect them. Yeah, News 4's Michael Warwick reports from Kingston Springs where people are watching the weather from a different point of view. Counting on a gut feeling that told him an EF2 tornado was about to be right on top of him. Kind of got a little teary out there. I'm getting teary out now. It was very scary. A lifelong resident of Kingston Springs, Randall Rowland is thankful his gut was right, allowing him just enough time to hunker down with his wife. It actually vibrated us up and down on the floor, and uh, it scared us pretty good. I've been in a lot of things, but this is the scariest I've ever been from any one incident. Uh, we didn't know if we were going to come out or not. For two and a half weeks, Randall's focus has been cleanup. Car total, truck total, camper total, two boats total, the barn total. Tonight, watching a new threat of severe weather with eagle eyes and a new outlook on life. We'll watch it, we'll be cautious and we'll take precautions, but in a way, this has given me strength to make it through the next storm, you know. There's no doubt the landscape of this quiet Kingston Springs neighborhood has changed. You can look through the hillside over here, you can see the highway and stuff and, and houses that you used to couldn't see because all the trees are now gone. Even though nobody on this road lost their lives, many people here are gone. Their homes, like this one, declared unlivable. Still, despite taking a direct hit, Randall knows whether they land in the crosshairs of this next round of storms or not, they'll be ready. We're hanging together, and that's that's very important. The community is just strong. In Kingston Springs, Michael Warwick, News 4 Nashville.